Hello and welcome, I'm here with Stevie White and today we're going to be ranking crisps in order. A few little points of order first of all though, um, very hard to get hold of normal sized bags of crisps now, mostly grab bags and things, and I've not done every single flavour of everything. I picked 16 bags of crisps, dropped 18 quid on this, um, I've gone for your main ones and then a few more rogue things, but if you've got any problems, any crisps that you really rate you haven't, that we haven't covered, mention down below. But let's crack on. First of all, Stevie, we're going to do Walker's Ready Salted, your basic control crisp. The way we're going to work this out is we're going to taste a crisp each, hang on, fine bouquet, okay. and then we're going to give it a mark each out of 100. I think they're underrated. Yeah, I think they're bland. I'll never go there and choose to have a Ready Salted, I'll eat it if it's around. Uh, Score-wise, out of 100, I'm going to give it 33, no, 30, 32. Why are we doing out of 100? That seems very difficult to be able to pick a specific number with such a wide... Well, what, it gives you more, otherwise they're going to be all the same. We're going to have flows of the same. Okay, um, 52. Wow, that was high. <laughs> For me, Salt Winnegate is the king of crisp flavours. Really? Your thoughts? I think I have other ones that I prefer, but I am a big fan of them. I'd go 71. In 1999, in Wandsworth, there was once where I worked, I went to the, the news agents, brought back these crisps, and they were like super strong. There was a mistake at the factory. Oh, there was so much vinegar on them. They, they were like, yeah, it was incredible. For a week, I'd go back and they're all the whole batch were like this. But then eventually I went back one day and they were less, like normal crisps. I was like, oh. How disappointing was that? Really disappointing. Have you ever considered putting vinegar on your crisps? I've heard people do that. Yeah, 71. 71. So I'm going to go. 64. Another one of the classic three now, cheese and onion, one of the three main flavours of UK crisps. So these are the ones I prefer over salt and vinegar. I can never really taste onion in a cheese and onion crisp. I don't think why they I don't know why they focus so heavily on the onion. That's my go-to for a crisp sandwich. How do you feel about a crisp sandwich? Don't mind it. Cheese and onion, best for right. it. Right, are you talking like purely Bread, two bits of bread, butter, and crisp. Are you talking about putting some crisp into a ready made sandwich? Either or. Just on its own, great. But with ham, even better. Yeah, I do those in a ham sandwich. I'm not doing them just in a bit of bread. That's well, any far. crisps. You no. never have just a crisp sandwich? No. I'm... Oh, you need to live a little, Robbie. 76. I'm not a fan of them. I'm going to go a 22. Below ready salted? Yes. You're mental. Our first trip into the ocean now, we're going to do prawn cocktail here. A controversial crisp, loved by some, hated by many. Let's see what we think. Again, I don't think this tastes remotely like prawns. I suppose it's not, it's more like the Mary Rose sauce I think they're trying to emulate maybe. Yeah. My favourite of the prawn cocktail things, they didn't have them in the shop, are skips. I like the way they just dissolve on your tongue. I do like a skip, I think it's considered to be a kid's crisp though. I'm going to go 58. I'm going to go 18. Oh wow, lowest yet. Frazzles, I think the only entry we've got here from Smiths, who were once in the, 90, in the 80s and 90s a big player in the crisp game and really fallen off in later years. What else did they do? Um, they did their own range of crisps. I can't remember what else they did. But they, did about, they, they were around quite a bit. See, now this is a kid's crisp to me. Not necessarily for kids, but it was a crisp that was big when I was a kid. They're also the relative of the, um, what are they called, the bacon fry ones, the ones you get in pubs. So it's a kid's crisp, but also it's an adult's crisp in its pub form. Uh, I think it's very good. I like that it's gone for a different shape to a traditional crisp. Yep. It's not just relying on the normal normal thing. It's tried to emulate, not brilliantly, but it's tried to emulate the bacon it tries to be. If they shape these like actual prawns, I'll be more interested if I'm totally honest. Yeah. <laughs> Frazzle, I think, is an excellent crisp. Downside, it gets stuck in your teeth a little bit. That's where I'd mark it down a little bit. Yeah, same. But I'm going to say this is one of the best crisps we've had so far, and I'm going to give this an 82. Ooh, that's high. I'll give it a 71. I should say, we're recording this video whilst we're on the Happy Hour Tour and we're in our hotel room here in Brighton. Well, my hotel room, we don't have the same hotel room. One of the downsides of being on tour is you don't always get a good night's sleep. But luckily, this video is in collaboration with Emma Sleep. You know, I've had quite a few comments on my YouTube channel recently saying, I'm looking good, I'm looking in good shape and you're right, I'm about a stone lighter than I was this time a month ago. And part of the reason for that is because I'm taking a more 
holistic approach to my health. I've noticed that times when I eat badly often seem to correlate with the times when I'm tired, so I've been working to get better quality sleep. We've been using Emma's sleep mattresses in the Knox family for years now, and they've always helped me sleep a bit better. In fact, whenever we have to replace a mattress because it gets a bit old, it's always Emma's sleep that we go to for them. We've actually got three of them across the various beds, so we know we're going to get a good night's sleep. The first time we ever bought an Emma sleep mattress is because it was risk free. They give you 200 days to try the mattress out at home. And if you don't like it, you can send it back for a no hassle refund. They also offer a 10 year guarantee so you can sleep easy in both senses of the phrase. Now's a great time to try out Emma's sleep because they have a 50% sale on at the minute. But if you want an extra special bonus treat, use my code, that one there, and you're going to get an extra 5% off on top. What a deal. So just click on the link in the description and start sleeping better. Cheers, Emma. Now back to the eating. Now we're going to go for a crisp that I've never in my life heard someone say that they choose to buy. Squares? Squares. Have you ever come across a person who said, I really fancy a pack of squares? Hi, Stevie. I like squares. Nice to meet you. Whoa! You've met one now, yeah. Mind blown! Now, I would go traditionally for the salt and vinegar one, but I won't vary the flavours out here. But I think a square is a ter terrific crisp. I did terrific not expect crisp. that. Fits in well for a dainty mouth. Sharp edges to keep you on your toes. Yeah, I really like a uh, square. Okay, it's more flavourful than I thought, because mm -hmm. it's not a typical go to for me. Oh, They've experimented with the shape. They've mixed it up a bit. I feel bad. I feel like I've just slagged off squares and they're actually all right. Yeah. Mm. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be nicer then and give it a 65. Not for this one, but bear in mind my knowledge of the Salt Vinegar ones. I'm going to give this a 70. Really cheesy Watsits these are. Um, I've, I, I'm trying to get normal Watsits. They didn't have any in the shop. I've never had a crunchy Watsit before. Neither have I. Oh, so, it's a bit like a knick-knack. It is a bit like a knick-knack. Now, I think a Watts, it really is a kid's crisp. It is, and I think the crunchy version that we've just tried there is everything a Watts it is with none of the flavour or the good consistency. See, I think it's that's too cheesy, that, if anything. Mm. Do you know what? I think you're exactly right. 28 for me too. Love that. So Thank you very much. Monster Munch come in three flavours, don't they? So mm -hmm. you've got your pickled onion, you've got your red flaming hot ones, and your beef yellow ones. Yeah. Do you Great have a knowledge. preference of the of the three? Uh, I don't eat them enough to really have them. Possibly the pickled onion, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Quick question for the comments, I reckon. Down below, is it a monster's hand or is it a monster itself? Important. What I really admire about Monster Munch is, is they've not just gone bland flavours. They've gone pickled onion. They've gone crazy beef thing, red hot. They've, they've, they've dispensed with potatoes, gone for whatever this is, maize, corn, is that the same corn. thing? Corn. Corn. They've gone for weird shapes. On paper, it's a madman's dream, but my God, does it work. It does work. Um, again, stuck in your teeth. So mm. I think that's the corn, the issue with corn crisps. Yep. But they're up there. I'm, I'm putting them right at the top. 79. Wow, I'm gonna go even higher than that. Monster Munch. They're getting an 85. What's this, Stevie? It's a Walker's Max Strong, perfect with beer, hot sauce blaze. I've got any beer for us to sample it with, but these are really taking on the McCoy's angle, aren't they? Of a more a ridged, more solid, more challenging crisp. Now, a lot of the time, hot crisps aren't very hot. They are. Wow. <laughs> They do what they say on the bag. That's be hot. so hot. Oh, oh, the flavour's good, but the heat's putting me lower in the score. 61. We have 90. That's your best yet. We're going for a crisp here that's going to help us cool our mouths down. Dare I say it, the king of the kids crisp. <laughs> wow, huge claim, the quaver. Quavers have what skips have, that melt-in-the-mouth quality. You don't have to choose a quaver, you can choose to. I just have, but you can just let it dissolve slowly on your tongue as well. I'm a big fan of a quaver. Doesn't get stuck in your teeth, back to a potato crisp. I like a quaver. I'm gonna give those 
a 73. I think they're good. I don't think they're that good. 68 for me. Stevie, I've got a rogue shout here. There was a crisp I've never seen before. I'm not even certain it's a crisp, but it was in the crisp section of the shop. Have you ever had a Takis Fuego? New. <laughs> I've never even heard of them. Intense flavor rolled into an awesome snack. You can have it like a cigarette. Oh, they're fabulous. Lovely lime, lime kick. Nice compact design. Still get the crispy, but all rolled up nice and they're easy to eat. Huge fan of that. No Where has that come from? Nowhere near as fire as I, as I expected. Lovely aftertaste. The fire starts to build a little bit as you as you go on. It's more limey. Give that an 80. That's high. Um, I'm going to say I can't fully agree with you there. I'm going to have to go a little bit lower and give it a 60. 60. <laughs> now, Stevie, you um, sagged off squares a bit and what? Uh, Apologise to the squares community. I did. I argue like discos come in the same camp as squares. They do. Focusing heavily on the sort of vinegar flavour. I like uh, a disco. A disco, so very, very nicely designed. It looks like the moon. Nice clean shape. I think a disco has a sort of vinegar intensity greater than anything else in Walker's mainstream Kids Crisp range. No, I agree. Are oh, we going Kids Crisp on discos as well? Ninety-two. Ninety-two. Disco, it's party time, 88. Mr. Knox, mm. I don't know if you've done this on purpose. This is my favorite flavor of Dorito. I didn't do it on purpose. I don't really know much about your Dorito preferences. A Dorito for me is very useful for in nachos or with dips. But I think what lets itself down is just eating them raw. I wouldn't have them without something normally. I wouldn't just buy a, get a bag of those and eat them. I'd require a bit of salsa, guacamole, something like that, or a full-on nacho plate. See, I think that adds to it because you can have them raw, as you want to say it, but none of these other ones you dipping into a nice dip or putting cheese on. I'm giving it a 94. Wow. I admire that. As a crisp on its own, I would have it down in the 50s, but because it can do so much else, I'm going to put it up to a 72. I'm glad you were able to consider the things that we could have had it with, even though we don't have it here. I'll I'm take that. I'll accept I'm a scientist. Right, Stevie, a crisp you see occasionally, but very rarely buy, personally. What are here they? it is. Royster's bubbled chips. It's got little bumps on it, slightly. I don't think I've ever had one, because they're bubbly. They're quite airy in your mouth, but not in the same way as Skip is. It's a crisp that doesn't know what it is. Is it like a sort of powerful steak crisp, or is it a soft Skip type thing? It sort of exactly. just dissolves around there, loses the flavour. Honestly, dreadful crisp for me. My worst one yet. 13. 17. Last couple of bags now, Stevie. Okay, with this is a newcomer, this crisp. It wasn't, I think it's relatively new on the block, only been made recently, dropped. It's exciting when a new crisp drops. And I, these, what do you think of them? I've got a preloaded gun on this one. Why? I think they're very good. However, I think they're massively overrated. It seems to be the go-to for meal deals for a long time because they're a bit fancier than your standard walkers. But they're just not as good as people act like they are. Let's Personal try. opinion. Let's try and see. For me, the sensation is a crisp for rubbish dinner parties. It's kind of people in a, in a little bowl beforehand, before they are they bunging on a Keen album. See, we can like a bit of Keen. I like a bit of Keen. But, but if you're listening to the full album at a dinner party... Exactly, exactly. Your thoughts? I feel like it's a crisp for a gatekeeper. Someone who thinks it's above what it is. The kind of person who goes, oh, you're wearing a Metallica t-shirt, name all of their albums. Not for me. 50. 33. It's a phenomenal crisp. It's absolutely phenomenal. It's very hard. It's got a good, strong salt vinegar taste. It's got a nice ridge to it. The flavour gets locked into those ridges. You get a good crunch in it. Very hard to pick a downside with it. Yeah, it's they've mastered keeping the flavour in a crisp. You're not going to get to the bottom of the bag and wish there was more. You're there, you've got everything in each crisp you eat. It's a banger. All I'd say, they can be a bit filling. They come in sometimes quite big bags, I think. This is a particularly big bag, but even the standard bag, I think, is 
am I right in saying it's a little bit bigger than your traditional crisp bag? But I mean, it's it's very hard to fault them. I'm going to go very high score. I'm going to give them a 97. I'm going to go 93. Now I should say we're missing a big name here because they just didn't have it in the shop. The hula hoop. I think hula hoop would have done very well in here. But let us know down below of other crisp. But here are the final scores out of the crisp we've got here. In last place, it's Royster's T-Bone Steak with an average score of 15. What's It's Crunchy comes in in 50 with 28. Prawn Cocktail, Basic Walkers, 38. Tide and 12th are Ready Salted and Sensation Sweet Chili on 41.5. 11th place, it's just Standard Cheese and Onions hitting 49 points. And then we've got another tie for 9th with a Basic Salt vinegar or any form of squares. The example here was the Cheese and Onion. Surprise newcomer Takish Fuego comes in with 70 points on number eight, and the Quavers are in at number seven with 70.5. Number six is Max Strong Hot Sauce, a crisp we'd never really had before, but loved 75.5 before we get to the top five with Frazzles hitting a 76.5. Number four is Monster Munch, in particular pickled onion flavor, which we tried today, which got 82 points. And into the top three, it's Doritos Core Original, getting at 83 there because of its versatility to combine with other foodstuffs. In second place, on 90 points, Disco Salt Vinegar, but Salt Vinegar continues to be the king flavor because McCoy Salt Vinegar wins it on 95 points. Stevie, any last words? I'm very happy with that list. I think as a team, we've smashed that. We have. I'm sure people will let us know, let us know their views down below. We're not leaving till we eat all of these, Stevie, <laughs> and you're doing all of the hot ones. So let's get going. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget, great deal there from Emma's Sleep. Click down in the link in the description, use this code to get an extra 5% off the already great 50% off sale. Cheers for watching, back with another video soon.